Hello to everyone. My name is Vani Hungria from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And uh, uh, it's my great pleasure to present it to you the data from the DREAM7 trial. The DREAM7 trials, uh, we will present here the update of the DREAM7 trial. DREAM7 trial is a berlintamab, bamfodontin, bortezomib, and dexamethasone versus daratumumab, bortezomib, and dexamethasone in relapse of refractory multiple myeloma. And here we will present the overall survival analysis and update the efficacy outcomes of the phase three uh, seven trial. We have previously shown that the DREAM7 trial met its primary endpoint by demonstrating a statistically significant PFS benefit of Belanaf in combination with bortezomib and dexamethasone, BVD, compared with daratumumab, bortezomib, and dexamethasone, DVD. Overall survival at the primary PFS analysis showed a trend in favor of BVD versus DVD. Here, we report updated results with a median follow-up of 39.4 months. Uh, Dream Savvy is an ongoing global randomized open-label phase three study. Belantamab mafodontin is the first BCMA monoclonal antibody conjugated with monomethyl auristatin, and it has been combined with bortezomib and dexamethasone in the experimental arm of this study. The control arm was daratumumab in combination with bortezomib and dexamethasone. In this study, in Dream Save study, uh, were in, uh, enrolled eligible patients who progressed on or after at least one prior line of therapy were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to BVD or DVD for eight cycles followed by Belanaf or daratumumab monotherapy. Belamaf was administered at the initial dose of 2.5 milligrams per kilogram on an every three-week schedule. Those modifications were commonly used to effectively manage the adverse events. The primary endpoint was progression-free survival with the key secondary endpoints of overall survival, the ratio of response, and the MRD negativity. Additional secondary endpoints included the PFS2, response rates, and the safety outcomes. A total of 494 patients were randomized. At data cutoff for this analysis, the median follow-up was 39.4 months of the ITT population. 25% remained one treatment with Belamaf versus 15% with Daratumumab. Progressive disease was the most common reason for discontinuation in both arms. Uh, baseline characteristics were generally well balanced between arms. Approximately half of the patients had one prior line of therapy, and 52% of patients received the prior lenalidomide, and about a third were refractory to lenalidomide. At this analysis, Belamaf VD has demonstrated a statistically significant and clinically meaningful overall survival benefit versus Dara VD with a hazard ratio 0.58. The Kaplan-Marion curves show an early and sustained separation in favor of Bella VD. Given the median overall survival was not reached in either arm, 
simulation was used to calculate a predicted median overall survival, which is 84 months and the BVD and uh, uh, with BVD, 84 months with BVD, and 51 months with DARVD. The prediction for DVD is consistent with the results in the Castor study, which reported a median overall survival of 49.6 months with DARVD. About, sub, 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 about subsequent therapies, uh, more patients in the DARAVD arm received the subsequent therapies due to early disease progression. And the more patients in the DARAVD group discontinued the treatment early due to progression and went on to receive subsequent antimyeloma therapies. Shown here are all subsequent therapies received. The most common first subsequent therapies in both arms included the immunomodulatory drugs like lenalidomide and the pomalidomide. Of patients receiving subsequent therapies, more than half received an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies immediately after uh, BELAVD, and the carfuzomib was often given after DARAVD. The benefits of treatment with BVD were maintained following the first subsequent antimyeloma therapy as shown by PFS2, uh, PFS2 continue to favor BELAVD versus DARAVD. BVD maintained a greater death of response versus DARAVD. More patients on BVD than DARAVD achieved MRD negativity. Patients reaching complete response or better plus MRD negativity were 25.1% for the BELAVD arm and 10.4% for the DARAVD arm. Patients receiving, uh, uh, patients reaching VTPR or better responses plus MRD negativity were 38.7% for the BVD arm and 17.9% for the DARAVD arm. Importantly, since the overall survival in this analysis is statistically significant, MRD negativity results from the primary analysis can now be considered statistically significantly due to the pre-specified testing hierarchy. The duration of response with BELAVD was more than double that of DARAVD at this follow-up. Median duration of response was 40.8 months with BELAVD and 70.8 months with DARAVD. Related to uh, the safety, and the uh, adverse events were consistent with the known safety profile for the individual agents in each regimen. While the BVD arm had numerically higher overall rates of grades three or four and the serious adverse events, when adjusting for total treatment exposure, safety results were generally comparable between arms. There were that there were more deaths to, uh, due to myeloma in the, in the DARAVD than the BELAVD arm. Commonly occurring adverse events of clinical interest include the blood and the lymphatic system disorders and infections. Thrombocytopenia was more common in the BVD arm 
even when adjusted for exposure. Overall infection rates were similar between arms and consistent with the primary analysis. Exposure adjusted rates of infection, all grades were higher with a DVD than BVD. Related to the BCVA and the changes in BCVA resulted in patients with a complete follow up. Because uh, uh, ocular events are associated with Bellamaf. About two thirds of the patients didn't have a clinically meaningful drop in BCVA. Overall, ocular safety profile is consistent with the primary analysis. Nearly all patients with worsening of vision to 2050 had resolution to normal baseline or improvement or, or, of their first event. The 2% of patients with the event ongoing had insufficient follow-up to assess for resolution. The median time to improvement was approximately three weeks consistent with the primary analysis. All patients with orsoning to 20, 200 had resolution or improvement of their first event. Among all patients in the BVD arm, most ocular events resolved with dose modifications. Overall, 10% of patients discontinued the treatment due to ocular events. In this slide, you can see that the black line is showing that the interval between doses is increasing with the time due to dose modification from an initial three weeks up to 12 weeks. The pink bars demonstrate that despite the extended dosing intervals, the responses are maintained. As shown by the purple bars, the prevalence of BCVA changes was highest in the first three months. However, the extended dosing allowed the prevalence to remain low with time. And the green bars show that the rates of discontinuation due to ocular events were low. In summary, BALAVD demonstrated an early sustained and statistically significant overall survival benefit in head to head tripped versus tripped trial against the DARA combination. Medium overall survival was not reached, but predicted medium overall survival is 84 months with the Bella VD and 51 months with the Dara VD. Treatment benefits with BVD were maintained after subsequent antimyeloma therapy, with a positive overall survival observed at this analysis. The MRD negativity benefit is now statistically significant. Mm -hmm. The safety of a BVD was consistent with the primary analysis. Dream 7 has now shown a statistically significant PFS, OS, duration of response, and the MRD negativity benefits compared with the RVD. These results further support the use of BELAVD as a potential new standard of care in relapse or refractory multiple myeloma. And here you can see all countries around the globe that participated in the DREAM 7 trial. And thanks to all patients and all people involved in this study. Thank you very much for your attention.